All right, all you fantastic people out there, Dragon Blaze, update time. Let's go look at it. So this is gonna be tomorrow's update. We're gonna make this quick, just because I just got home and I have not went to sleep yet. But let's see, voting contest. So we get to vote for the next reward that we're gonna be getting. All right, so let's take a look at these rewards. You can either get five. Five infinity summons. So that means you get five of these infinity summons. So then there are 300 select souls, not random this time. Then there are 20,000 transcendent essence, and then there are 5,000 rune summons. So let's see. The only ones that are actually good on here for any player. Are just two of them. The other ones you could just naturally farm. You'll naturally farm by just playing the game. But there are two of them that takes longer to get. Well, there's one of them that takes way longer to get just because you have a set amount every day, and plus they're basically at random. These are basically at random too, but you'll have a way better chance of just getting a few. But let's get down to the ones that most people shouldn't be voting on, and that's the ones that are voted on here. Souls, you can easily get that naturally by farming and just having on your auto button. Let's see. So for new players, click on your pet and you should see auto combine. Auto enhance, auto combine. Have those on so they can auto enhance your characters. Just read hit this down here, the benefits, and it'll tell you everything you need to know of what it will combine. It will combine your Okay, no, I might as well should explain it. It combines. Let's see. Well, there it is. There's one example. It combines that. But almost. I need to figure out the whole ranking thing so that I haven't been in here for a long time. Nope, not that. Okay, so it combines your C's through your S's. If you wanted to combine your. Well, actually, no, it combines your C's through double S's and makes them into triple S's. Here's the thing. You don't need any other normal characters. Do not... Trust me, you don't need any other normal characters. Even when starting out, you'll pretty much have like Transcendents and Overlords. Anything that is Transcended and up are all right to use, but Overlord to Exalted are the most things you want to use as a starting player. And they're really easy to get. I'm pretty sure you can get a whole team of Overlords within like a week now. It's just going to take you longer to get Exalted at best. That's because the rewards they give you and they have beginner rewards when you start. I'm not sure how much the beginner rewards have evolved, but you guys should have like a better team than just DFIs and normals. At least Transcend is enough. Transcend is start to fall off like later on in the game. But yeah, it will auto combine if you guys have the feature. And these pets are completely free when you first start the game. Like you'll have them by default. I'm pretty sure. Oh, why did I come here? All right. That's enough for that reason. Transcendent Essence. You will easily farm those as you play the game and as you farm Challenger. So Challenger will be your main source of grinding. And for those of you guys who haven't been in Challenger, which I'm pretty sure everybody has, Challenger Dungeon is where you grind, where you get your XP not through story. Story is just to progress through the story, get those like minor rewards, and just come in here to grind. <laughs> Most people don't know that story just doesn't give you like all the levels you need. Challengers. And Challenger will give you tons of Transcendent Essence real easy. But if you need to go like, 
I know I need to explain this to newer players. Sorry, guys. For those of you guys who already know it and stuff. If you guys want to farm while the game is closed, it only farms up to eight hours. Remember that. If you guys want to farm... Wait, is it still up to eight hours or did it change? I'm pretty sure it's still up to eight hours. Well, yeah, let's just say it's still up to eight hours to where... Uh, eight hours of rewards. So you can come over here and turn on your auto retry and then you can push hands off mode start hand off modes the app will close but it will be auto farming while your app is closed so you don't actually have to be here in game just to grind i know some of you guys like to you know leave the game open and grind if you're going to be grinding for more than eight hours for more than eight hours keep the game up if you guys just want to farm for that eight hours and just forget about the game for a while, then you can do that. All right. Just for new players, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so the other two rewards. Let me explain why the 5,000 runes are pretty difficult to get certain ones that you want, but, you know, it still gives you a lot more. This right here is where you're going to be getting all your runes and also some skill cards. But here's the thing. The more times you enter within a day, the more tickets it goes up. Look at that. Just 90 times and it uses every single one of my tickets. So as you can see, it would go in two times. You no, know, just using three tickets. Oh, you no, know, nothing else to say about four, five. Once you get start start getting the seven, that's when it really starts to kick up. As you see, nine of them, ten, yeah, they just starts to go all the way up. That's why you want to use a maximum of at least five per day, and it's not even a guarantee that you're going to get runes from here. The second place you can get them is from Daily Dungeon when it's on Friday, or you can just buy into it and just grind through there. But the maximum you're going to get is 200. You know, that's that's literally... Well, actually, yeah, you'll get like a thousand within... At least a thousand within the week of just doing this. But they're giving you 5,000, which gives you pretty much a huge leap depending on how much you get for each one. So that one's not half bad of reward. But the main one that everyone should be voting for is the infinity summons just because you have a chance of getting infinity cards and infinity cards play a big role in the game right now not all this stuff because even if you get like you know transcendence or overlords from the infinity summon here's the thing if you have it exalted you just come in here hold on let me get an example out you know we got one up. Okay. As you can see, I got a base Kai over here. I could just go into Exorb. And I could just throw some Transcendence and Overlords that I got from, like, the Affinity Summon. And as you can see, I can just pretty much just throw all that in there. So you can feed those characters to other characters that are higher than that character. So all of my Exalteds can't go into another Exalted. But overlords can go into exalted, and if I'm using an overlord, trying to level them up, whoops. If I'm using an overlord trying to level them up, all I can use are transcendents. As you can see, exalteds don't pop up in here. Well, no, yeah, exalteds and um, overlords don't pop up in here, so I can't feed an overlord to another overlord. It just keeps going on through transcendents too. I also can't do the same thing. Transcendents don't let you absorb at all. Yeah, they use souls because each each enhancement is just like one. So that's why Infinity Summons would more than likely be the best thing that's on here. And plus they're giving us five, so that's like amazing. Okay, so next thing. Outside of the votings, we have bonus rewards for ranking. So we will get 50% more rubies and 50% more coins. So you probably want to join in 
on all of the world bosses through this whole week until you know until the next update which is always tuesdays for the u.s at least all right and space monster invasion is coming back the place where you can get a crap ton of rubies like i'm talking like at least 100k for like high ranking people or you know medium rank people can get up to 50k at least if they're also in here 20k you know depending on how much they attack this is a huge event every time everybody has to set times for it trust me uh, i have not made it to any of these just because the times i gotta pretty much put into my pc and try to figure out when that will be uh let's see wow are these usually the batteries down here right ah but i guess i have to be in the actual like run just to be able to see the battery in the time but let's see let's see let's see what else okay special login events where you'll be given a thousand rubies every day that's coming back okay nice okay here's some packs for the wells that are ending translated pigs are ending double drops from dungeons are ending and another special event is ending oh the special event for um the whole 10 man arena thing so yeah that's pretty much it i'm looking forward to it tomorrow ah nothing good you know what let's do let's do a 10 summon well not a 10 summon <laughs> let's see when did they add that Let's see what we get. Alright, I'll take it. Ultimate. I can take these because I could just enhance them. Or just feed them to my other characters. I recommend feeding transcendence to your um, overlords for sure. Because they overlords get more benefits out of it than than you would for um for Exalteds. Exalteds take way more Transcendence than Ultimates would. And feeding Overlords to the Exalteds is like feeding Transcendence to, to Overlords. So, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I need to make... I don't know. Don't sneeze. I need to make this character. So I'm actually going to do an example here if I... Oh, well, I do have another Foxy now that I think about it. How much would she need? Okay, she would just be four of those. And we're going to make her Overlord. And build you. I didn't have enough gold for this last time. And now, for an example, throw you in, gives me two, five, eight, and max. Now I'm going to hold off for a while, just because I don't have any more Transcendence and I'm not trying to spend too many souls. Let's see, Mage will be fine just because we need to get her up to Exalted. I know, a lot of people have been yelling at me to actually start making her. <laughs> I am, don't worry. I have my infinity card. I will get her there. It's going to take me quite a few souls. If I wanted to do this, I would, but I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to use them only on Exultants, which I have done right now that needed. So I'm probably going to be saving those two for her. Let's see how much I get if I do put that in there. Okay, so it'll take me straight up to plus eight. 
trust me, don't use these on, like, overlords or transcendents. No, excuse me. Well, actually, you can't use these on transcendents. Don't use these on overlords. Use them on exalteds. Trust me, you will... You'll, you'll learn that they're not worth putting into there. But guys, I'm going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Hopefully some of those tips will help you guys out. And hopefully we can work together to get those votes and uh, rewards that would help us out the most. With that said, until then, peace out.